It's your boy VL's a fake body bag battles with Dennis make some noise. Right now we got a crazy ass battle going down. On my left, we got Lacris. Uh huh. Yo, it's hey, hey, it's Lacris. I want to say shouts out to Bishop's people, uh, THC Distributive Medical Service, whatever the hell they do. Shouts out to them. <laughs> And on my right, A-Co Records, CEO, L.B. Bushy. Can you give me a shout-out? Can you give me a shout-out? Shout-out to everybody in the motherfucking Body Bag building right now. Shout-out to all the Body Bag MCs. And uh, we're in Colorado. We in here. I'll smoke it. All right, we're going to get this shit going. Lacquer, 60 seconds. There you go. Hey, all right. Hold it down, hold it down a little bit in the back. It's, it's gonna be real quick, I promise. Hey, Al Beasy, no matter what happens, I don't want you to think that I think that you're a useless human. You're just a highly eclectic dude, trying to incite the room, high on specific fumes. I'm just left to wonder why this slightly retarded, skewed, gimmicks infectious to all your little cronies and whatnot. Well, that's, that's just basic emulation. So busy, just don't do it. You're living your life too. Just mimic another crew. Who here thinks they know what I'm talking about, dude? No ideas? I'll get into that later. Well, your, your drug-infused hood rats may think he was cute as shit. But we, hey, 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 hold him down, hold him down. Hey, your drug-infused hood rats may think you was cute as shit, but with that much fizz, even a cat like me could be hyped as a pimp. And by the time I diss that, you know this guy cannot say shit because it's shown by the slur and the tone in which you spit to just outside the crib. Al Beasy started in with the peyote and acid hits. Without, without, here's some advice for you kids. Without traction, you slip. Lack with assist. Not trying to act like a bitch or pass like a snitch, but you should know that you lack as a fizz and will never snag a hit if you absent-minded like him and spit most of your raps with half of a lisp. Bitch. Oh. <laughs> uh, round one, Get that part shit. two, Al There you go. Right, go. Oh, Check it. Go. I step in the room, I make it crack. Al Beasy's known to spit the fact. I verbally assault this kind to make your mom give me that. I put a roar on the map. You better believe that, nigga. And since this dude really think I can spit, I'm gonna eat this nigga. You better rhyme like never before, or you will be flat, nigga. Or I might have you roll my blunts. We'll seize you, nigga. <laughs> I'll be that nigga that's ready for anything this dude bring to me. And I'm about to kill the mic. You just playing with it like a dingling. <laughs> Get off the mic, you wanna be tight, you gotta be spitting. You know I do, and that's the reason I'm tripping. Anybody that's gifted and clever can write whatever, just be hot. Cause when you hit the block, if your shit is weak, then we breaking your shit with rocks. I do this rap shit. There ain't nothing you can do to me. You like trying to put in sync back together. That's buffoonery rap. Look what you're spitting. You go as hard as Hillary Duff and Miley Cyrus dancing together on the Disney Channel at 2 p.m. drinking root beer smoothie, sitting next to your homeboy in your gym shorts, and you playing the kids' pop CD, waiting for the motherfucking hills to come on. Learn how to rap. <laughs> Hey, you may wonder why I showed such an interest in battling you, yo, when VO really didn't after you got kinged by KO. I felt bad. I was like, let me get at him. He may not have that deep of a flow, but after that last performance, I can sure think of some mean jokes. Like, uh, in that battle, you were ridiculed. They were laughing at you probably before the battle started when you dressed like some African Gandhi. <laughs> you come with, you came with pathetic average freeze in a written league. Use your brain, man. Confused why we concluded that he sounded like some ethnic rapping version of Rain Man. Hey, yeah, hey, LBZ, you remember this? You remember this? I'm from the ACO jungle. I don't slip and I don't fumble, bitch. You stumble more than Tracy Morgan did, and that's just half your trouble. You better be, you, you better you better be humble in the battle before you prove you soft as fur. Rapping the KO about mac and cheese is cornier than no one calling me a lunchable. <laughs> my, my, my hunch for you is proven true. No drama, no drama for dumb lines. KO already proved that you crumble in crunch, in crunch time. So if I really want to drop them, I'll do it. 
I'll stop him by dropping a simple Maraca punch on him. <laughs> Round two, part two, Al Beast. Shut up, let go. Shut okay, up. Okay, we live? Okay. Lacquerin. What else can I say? You kind of look like Jake Jabson, except a little more gay. Oh. <laughs> Hold up, Lacquer. This dude is a joke, Weaky. Too much MTV Jams and Johnny Depp movies got him thinking he can beat me. Oh. Lacquer. What kind of name is Lacquer? You must really got issues. I bet the only time you touch ass is when your fingers go through the tissue. <laughs> Lacquer. You should just change your name to Lackluster. You're like a fat fucker who wishes he had a black mother. Lacquer. It's this simple. You remind me of one of my groupies. Right when I'm on stage, dancing, and you want me to come off, shaking your hands, no chancing, because I'm going to tell you like this. I go hard. And I go in the paint. That's how I do it. I'm the man of his thing. <laughs> Body red battles, let go. Hey, you know why I got into this hip hop life? Because I believe in this shit. It keeps me from going crazy daily, gives me a reason to live. Keeps me from meeting all these people, whether healthy or sick. I close my eyes at any time and find just right where it is. I learned from the beginning. Rule number one, you never bite. You write with your own sense of convincing. You write with your own sense of conviction. Spit it to make it hype on your block, even if no one will really listen. Do what feels true to you. Deny any formula or system. Those who don't should be trialed on, held on trial for treason and convicted. Which brings me to you. In hip hop, are you really enlisted? Because what would you be doing right now if Mac Dre never even existed? Hey, except for, hey, 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 except for eating pills. We all know, we all know you like to pop an alien and get sillies like a corn. More. Well, no, dude. In this city, a co is a step below juggalos. And I figured it out. I figured it out. That's what it is. I figured out it's a play and it's classic, man. If it wasn't fizz goggles, it'd be an ICP jersey with a hatchet, man. So right now, I tell you right now, why would you even try? Take a lesson from your father. Life's a bitch and then you die. <laughs> Round three, part two, LB, 60 seconds. Let go. He got that hardcore flow. I know this guy, he's no crook. The only time that he shook is when he take a look. Cause I'm gonna tell you like this. I got real flow, you see? I'm the type of cat to fuck your whole day up like I'm the DMV. They ain't ready for what our bees got to spit because I see you at the bottom dangling on the tip. You know what's up with that? Because you know, I got star, I got spit. I'm with the angels. So I'll tell you at your highest point, you still couldn't reach my angles. I'll tell you like this. You what nobody remembers. Cincinnati Bengals. <laughs> I see you with the gay stuff because that's the only way he could be me. He got his ass showing right now. Telling you he's weaky. Weaky like this. Weaky as fuck. Because I see this nigga trying to give it up right before we was at this motherfucker. What? Where's the dude at? Because he got his homie with him and the dude was trying to kiss him. And I was like, I'm not listening. Nobody's listening because we from the A block. Let this nigga know that I'm not smoking pot. And if he want to talk about Mac Dre, he might get shot because he don't know where the fuck he from. And it's the A block. A rural Colorado, real fucking spitter. And this dude here, he knows I'm a gritter. And that's why he talk about the fears, talk about the A. But let this nigga know, we in this motherfucker. We don't play. Black hood no, bees no. That's how we do. It's the motherfucking code. And I got this nigga. See me with the flow. It was a good ass battle, man. It was real close. I felt like the third round, my boy, he just kind of came at it too soft. He didn't really say what he wanted to say, almost like he was freestyling. So Lackworth was just a little more consistent. He was a little more consistent, just a little more level with it. And he got the crowd hyper, so I'm about to go with Lackworth on this one. Unfortunately, it was a little bit unanimous. Lackworth, he took it. They both went back and forth, face to face. Lackworth just had ended up with the best delivery. Lackworth. Both of them niggas need to stop drinking before they freestyle. Because uh -huh. it was hard, but I'm going to have to give it to Lackworth just because he stayed a little more 
more consistent. But both of you niggas need to step your shit up. Stop drinking, nigga. I thought they were both pretty good. I thought Lacquer started out a little weaker. I thought Al B's had it on uh, at, at the beginning. But then towards the end, it went a little bit, bit the other way around. But ultimately, I got to say in this battle, my man Al B's got it. You know what I'm saying? Anxious, baby. Both of these dudes is just messing around, just playing around and shit. My man, my man Lacquer came through with the bar, so I got to give it to him. You my nigga Al B's. <laughs> What's good, world? It's your boy from Resident once yeah. again. That was another good battle. Can I get Big Dennis to make some noise real quick? Yeah. That's, what about. That's what we're talking about. So go ahead. We're going to get the official decision right now. Let me hand it over. Yes, yes, the official decision for one vote. And it was in favor of Black Crew. Say something real quick. Uh, the largest squid that was ever caught was off the coast. Of, uh, was off the coast of New Zealand, and it weighed over a thousand pounds. Shouts out to everybody. <laughs> That's some random knowledge for your ass. <laughs> 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 Aurora, Colorado. Yeah, that I mean. Yeah, that I mean. That's a for.